Sean Blackwell is a former sergeant in the U.S. Army. In May 2003, a few months after the U.S. invasion of Iraq, he was on guard duty outside the health ministry in Baghdad. A young Iraqi woman approached him. She was looking for work. They got to talking. So I was like, hey, you have a girlfriend? Doesn't mean like I wanted to be his girlfriend or anything. I was just curious. And, uh, and he said, um, no, but if I'm going to be marrying some, I'll be marrying you. They kept meeting. Three months later, they decided to get married. Sean converted to Islam against his commander's wishes. They got married secretly at a Baghdad restaurant, squeezing the ceremony in between two patrols. We had to meet, ask the judge to meet us somewhere, which is on the way of um, their patrol. And we, st we stopped there 15 minutes to finish the, the ceremony. When his superiors found out, they tried to get the marriage annulled. They tried to bring charges on me of dereliction of duty, saying that I abandoned my patrol to get married, which was all BS. Um, saying I endangered troops for, for giving out information on our, our patrol. Sean and Ada were the first Iraqi-American couple from the war. They moved to the United States a year after their marriage, settling in Florida. Their daughter, Nora, was born in December 2006. They've found happiness, but they can't forget what brought them together. We would give up our marriage. We would give everything that we have together, our happiness together. We would give it all up if we could take the war back. Thousands of American GIs came back with brides from World War II and Vietnam. That's not been the case in Iraq. The U.S. military does not keep records, but the number of Iraqi-American couples is estimated to be no more than a few dozen.